Good morning guys, it's Unfrequented World Photography again and I've got another video for you on something interesting I found last night. Um, I had been doing some testing on video rendering in Movie Studio 14 and we switched to a Ryzen machine with 8 cores and we saw 17-18% uh, increase in Sony AVC uh, video files uh, in terms of time and uh, the best gain that we saw was XAVCS files which is a new type of file, MP4 file. Uh, we saw 44% increase uh, in uh, efficiency when using the new Ryzen machine. Now the only thing that uh, I couldn't test at the time was that the new machines do not have profiles in the BIOS to set your RAM to the fastest speed. And I thought it's not going to make that much of a difference. And I'm still waiting. I'm running the Asus X370 board and they do not have a BIOS update yet that allows me to run my RAM at 3000 megahertz. I'm running Corsair Vengeance 3000 RAM. And when I tried to set this RAM manually when I first got the machine, it would not boot any way, no how. There was nothing I could do. Well, last night I went in and tried playing around again and I got it to work. I'll show you guys how I did that and there's a reason why you want to get that to happen. When I did my rendering tests again last night, I was absolutely blown away with surprise. I'll show you how much gains we made again with just the RAM running at proper speeds. We'll go ahead and restart the machine. And uh, once it boots back up, you're going to want to hit the delete key like 500 times so that you actually boot into your BIOS. And you'll hear me madly tapping on this because it's easy to miss. And if that happens, you got to boot right into Windows and then back out again. So here's the Asus X370 uh, BIOS. Just shows your basic uh, setup on your entry screen. You have to press F7 to get into your settings. And then you want to go over to, at the top, AI Tweaker. And you can see my machine is running at uh, 38.50 multiplier. So we're running at 3.85 gigahertz and all our testing has been, been done that way. You can see that my RAM is actually set now at 2933 megahertz, where before it would not run. And the reason it wouldn't do that is there's no XMP profile for this board yet. Normally you would be able to just pick XMP, the board would realize, hey, this RAM's not running at full speed, it would test it, and it would set it to the proper setting. Can't do that yet with this board, there's no update. So what you have to do is go down to your DRAM timing control, and if you hit enter, you can manually set up, put your settings in there. And so I've gone ahead and done that. And this was not working originally because the latency on the RAM is listed as 15. And when I put in 15, it wouldn't accept it. So there's four numbers you got to punch in off the RAM. It wouldn't accept it. The machine actually will accept 16. So if I set it to um, read write times will be a tiny fraction of a millisecond, nanosecond slower um, by putting it on 16, but the RAM will run at the proper megahertz, which is 2933 megahertz. And that's how you go in and set that up manually. Oh, I almost forgot the most important part, guys. Under AI Tweaker, you also need to go down and manually set your DRAM voltage. So the voltage for your RAM chips comes uh, on auto, it will detect it at 1.2 volts. That's not enough. It says right on the chips that they're supposed to be run at 1.35. So if you click on that setting and you push plus on your keyboard, it will raise the voltage. Minus will lower the voltage and you want it set at 1.35. So you guys can see behind me I've got the same uh, test profile that we've used for uh, both previous videos. It's a 1 minute 50 second uh, video uh, with 10 pictures at the end of it and what I want to say is that just running this straight with a Sony AVC um, file we um, shaved 10% off with the RAM running at its new speed so originally when we switched to the Ryzen machine we got a 17% increase and by just bumping our RAM up to the proper uh, megahertz we've gained another 10% but now the uh, part that comes into play for me 99% of my videos have sharpening, color correction. You never just shoot something on your camera and, and throw it out there and make a movie. You always put effects, whether it's color changes or whatever you're doing. Those effects render through RAM. And when I re-rendered this video again with effects on, uh, we gained 28% efficiency boost. So we, we knocked off. Originally it took uh, 
we were looking at uh, four minutes and one second with the uh, Ryzen machine, which was a substantial boost, 18% from the old i7 machine we were using. And now when I ran the test again, we were down to two minutes and 53 seconds. Uh, that's 28% faster. So by having that RAM run at its proper speed, we are now looking at a total gain with the Ryzen machine of 48% on Sony AVC files. So it's cut my rendering time in half. That is the file uh, type of file that I render, I would say 99% of the time. There are a lot of guys rendering those. They're MP4 files. Um, excellent time savings now, 48%. Uh, I did run the other tests. Uh, XAVCS, which is a new codec, uh, we gained 44% just by going to the original uh, Ryzen changeover. And when we bumped the RAM up, 2% uh, increase. So because that codec is already running very efficiently, we didn't gain a lot by changing the RAM. 2%. And I changed, uh, I, I also threw in an MPG file which we had run before and again there was no change there, it was less than 1%. So when we were just changing over a very slight gain, something like 0.2% in time. So uh, all in all for me, bumping the RAM up is uh, going to allow me another 28% gain in what I'm doing most of the time which is rendering from my camera with effects. So I hope this helps you guys and we'll see you next week.